Storyblocks helps creators simplify their work each and every day. If you haven't heard of Storyblocks, they have a massive inventory of stock footage, both images and videos, along with a huge audio library. Today we need to find a few assets, such as smoke effects and ink drops, and Storyblocks has everything we need to get the job done. So these are the elements that we're going to be working with today. And we're going to go ahead and drag down our first video here. This video is just a simple clip of people at a rock concert here, moshing out there in the audience. So our first smoke effect here today, we're just going to go ahead and drag that down on top of this one at track two. Of course, for more, we'll create a new track when you bring down a new element there. Just going to go ahead and clip this part here just to make them the same size. Nothing special about the smoke effect there at the end, so it won't do anything. Double click here on our smoke layer, compositing, and let's go ahead and change our blending mode to screen. We're going to be doing that a lot here today to go ahead and blend in the colors between these two layers. And there you can see the smoke coming through. Simple smoke effect here that goes ahead and takes away from some of the bright lights distraction there. So just a simple way to bring in the smoke element here. Our second example is actually going to be a memorable day for many and one that some people say they dread. That day that you walk down the aisle with your beautiful bride, a wedding day. And there you see a couple doing just that. Go ahead and brought that down to the timeline. So there we go. We're going to drop our second smoke example there. And just like we did on that first clip, going to go ahead and split that because it's a little bit longer than the uh, sample video there. So let's go ahead and trim that off. Hit our split button. Get rid of that so that it starts and ends at the same time. There we go. Double click on that. Just like last time, let's do screen. There we go. But unlike the first time, we're actually going to uh, change the opacity here in a bit. See that smoke plume there as it follows the trail there. On the beautiful bride there and uh, her beautiful dress there. So again, that's what we got here. Looks to be a little good. Any image, any video, any application, you can change the size if you want. That's what we're doing here. Use that line there vertically in the middle to try to guide it back. But we just want to make the smoke plume come a little taller. So resize it accordingly. And there we go. Let's go ahead and let some of it shine through, though. Change that opacity. Bump it down just a slight bit. There we go. We like that level there. Go ahead and click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and render that real quick. And let's go ahead and take a look at these titles. So different from the first one, we're going to actually introduce some wordplay here for the celebration and the moment there. So let's find something like this right here. This one looks good. The rose petals here. Lay that on top. And we're not going to play around too much here, but with the borders and the date. So let's just go ahead and change the date style here and the advanced settings. You just go ahead and type 1219. 21. Change the border to red so that we can match the rose petals there. Drop the outline down a little, the size of it. Do the same for Jack and Mary. We'll keep the names there and uh, resize that and bump it up just a bit. Drag these borders left and right and go ahead and hit this center button there for the words to be dead center. That's how that one's going to look. So again, whether you do content for yourself Maybe you actually photographer and you record weddings. Hey, this could be a beautiful montage there for a couple there. Play with, of course, always your style of font and everything there. So got that one rendered, and that's what that one will look like here. Maybe there's another option that you want title-wise. So let's hit OK there, and we're going to go ahead and uh, look for another one real quick. I think we got a good one. So let's hide this layer. So in case you ever not sure or you are unsure, 
of which to use. Instead of deleting it, just hide one layer. And there we go. We're keeping everything on the bottom there. Quick render. You already know what the border changes would look like. So we'll keep the name the same. And again, another option there. I actually like that one with the wind. So that's our second option there. Again, with the smoke. So sky's the limit creativity-wise. Once you just get the concepts down, hey, this one's all about layering and blending. In our third example today, we're actually going to have a nod to a movie I used to watch with my little cousin, Happy Feet. Actually love the penguins there. So we got a little sample clip with some penguins. And of course, we got a nice ink drop here. So we're going to go ahead and split that edge off like last time. This blend mode screen, as you can see here, is just not going to do it with that color combination. You see the blending of the white there. So to get a nice effect, we're actually going to choose darken. Gives it that nice ink-like effect to expose what we need to see. So render this one real quick so we can get a nice playback. All right. Take a few seconds. And let's go ahead and take a look real quick at how this one's going to come out. I actually love that one there. Again, love, love, love that one. So, again, we know we got to bring in some words here at the end. But let's go ahead and change the opacity. That way we can see some of the, the penguins there in the background a little bit through. But, again, change those options to your heart's content. But let's go ahead and find one here that has the character and font that we like right away. Double click here and click on the advance button there. This element here, the little bar we don't need. So we'll go ahead and highlight that and hit that trash can to get it on up out of here. And again, if you remember the movie, the Boogie Wonderland, there we go. Contrast there, bump it up a little bit and let's go ahead and change the color preset option there to yellow. Bold italic, eh, it's not too bad the way it is. So again, that's what we got going on there. Bring the length in a little bit so it doesn't go over. And let's just pick an animation here, cinema style. I like that one, just to bring in the words a little bit different than the default. Quick render here will do it for us. And let's go ahead and hit stop and watch this one one more time. Nice. But I hope through today's video that you actually gained a little bit of knowledge there that just with taking a little bit of pause and just thinking about how you can introduce something as simple as smoke or ink effects on top of any existing picture video, playing around with the opacity levels and the blend modes, you can actually create a new work of art there. So play around with it a little bit. Experiment if you got for more and let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Definitely would love to hear you. Definitely know the sky's the limit for all of you out there. So whether you create a little or you create a lot, definitely, definitely just keep creating. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and peace.